Uh, we do murder the Enclave. We already murdered one, but there's nobody nearby at this exact moment in time to continue murdering the Enclave. So we're just going to continue to conquest and conquer. Oh, is there a planet here? That you can bombard? Yes, there is. Go and do it. Oh, there's no reason to bombard that planet. So instead... Instead... Instead, you'll just sit here guarding. Just wipe out whatever shows up, basically. Planetary Still too far away. Zarok, you gotta think about where that wormhole actually is. It's in our territory. And goes to our enemy's territory. We're kind of using this right now, and we have nobody nearby because we just sent through all our fleets to wipe this place out. You gotta consider these things. You don't consider these things. You're just wasting your time. Enemy taken. That's the music to my ears. All right. What do we do with the drunken sailor? What do we do with the drunken sailor? What do we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? So you, yes, you, the hero from Kavach. Get on up here. Conquer this place for me, will ya? The garrisons are non-existent, so we should be able to take it just easily. This is completely useless. This too is completely useless. Those two will go away. Then we can send someone else down south through the Ingarian Empire. Who are you people? Who's the principality? I have to declare war on someone else. I'm not happy with this border gore. Let me just kill you. Surrender to me, give me all your colonies right now, and I'll take care of everything. It's not hard. All right. Oh, you know what, I'm again, I'm just lazy. I don't care who I get. Just teleport over to Farragon and just take it, please. Just hurry it up. Land your armies. New relic activation. Guess what we're activating again. Rubricator, go. We need another 30 plus another 5. And that requires, as far as I know, a curator enclave, but maybe the artisan troop will give me, like, five minor artifacts. I need a total of a hundred for upgrading the Mega Art installation to its fullest potential. Also, we forgot. Completed Ringworld segment. Let's go. Now it is time to build the ring segments of the ring world. When we're done, we can colonize it. Oh, it actually did just straight up delete everything in Alderaan. Well, it'll be worth more than the individual stuff ever could be. I'm just kind of annoyed. They're actually trying to run over here and fight me. That's... that's depressing. We're going to arrive before they can leave. And then they'll die off. Even if they claim exactly one system from me, that's not like it actually does anything to stop me. There we go. Let's connect to the rest of the network. Now, continue pushing on down south and then get ready to start pincering these guys into their home. We'll deal with the Ixthalan Empire once I figure out how to deal with these people here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we actually have the wormhole access here. I'm curious, where does this wormhole go? You could go over here and take a quick gander. Is it this wormhole he Well Enemy mess taken. Move here. I just want you to start surveying stuff. Survey all these celestial bodies, because no one seems to have ever controlled it. And under edicts, we can pull out, uh, map the stars, I believe. You've successfully taken it over. Sweet. Now what? Uh, we have the gateway, so let's just send you through and have you go out and conquer some of these planets here just so our regular forces get the ability to move on with their own personal conquests. But I consider we've blown up this planet so much they actually have no armies. Like, having no planet is significantly worse than having only parts of a planet. What I need you to be replaced with is maintenance, and then everything else is completely useless. Especially the Hive Warrens. Oh. The game is definitely chugging on that one. I think I just tried to destroy a Hive Warren that isn't there. Yep, hard crash. <sighs> well, that was interesting. Or I should say that was amusing. Unrest, combat, that's me looking at Macabco. Looking down here, it just activated, we just captured it, and this is probably... Yep, okay, we're, we're very... Okay, I literally just started managing the planet, basically. Alright, we're good to go, keep going. Then you guys are both going over to just sit there and bombard their planets for a little while. We've almost killed off one of the aggressors, one of the people we're aggressing against in this war. Well, technically we've almost killed two of them, because as far as I know, this is the only territory he owns. And these are the democratic whatever. Yeah, democratic... Julian Sons. Down here is the Wiktzin concern, but those will die last, basically. We should have a science vessel that's currently on its way down here. We have Map the Stars active. We definitely do. All right. Oh, pff, sure. Terraforming gases, let's go. Let's speed this up. Hold it. Why is there deviancy? You're at a hundred percent. Something's messed up here and I don't like it. Hey, you're at two. You're at zero. You're at zero. All that makes sense. The extreme deviancy on that one does nothing. Crushing our life. What? Oh, right. So yeah, we should blow up the transport fleet or get rid of the majority of it. then lay claim to the system. Thank you, Archimitters, for doing some hilarious and hysterical things. Can you go here... and then go back and bomb this place. 
That'd be fantastic. Thank you. Grab this, then head over here and begin pincering this bottom section and leaving them nowhere to go. Our construction is complete. You're Tinyaki Space Whale. All right, that's fine. Where's our, our construction? Is complete. You're almost ready to teleport. Excellent. Our special project is complete. We dodged a bullet. Except not really. We'll get like 20 more people minimum, if not more. The construction team on the Ringworld has discovered a large deposit of minerals embedded in an extremely porous stone that will disintegrate during the building process. The sensitive of the sample could be valuable, and that it would be worth the halt the construction to extract it. No, it's not worth it at all. Complete. Why would you even suggest that? Who do you think you are? Tearing me apart. Lisa, why? Yeah, so that should be the last planet that we need to take for all these guys. We'll claim this. These guys will then be able to run around. So I'm assuming this is empty, like completely of armies. Yeah, so in this case, I'll just tell you go here, go here, go up here, go down here, and then start attacking this group. <sighs> We're rapidly filling our population centers with more things to satiate our gullets, seriously? And there's also these guys right here, who just refuse to change. I apply this template to all of you guys. Research it, and then you should be fixed. Will you be fixed, though? I'm gonna guess no. We have adapted a species to suit our needs. Oh! We actually hit zero! Yes! Won't be that way for long. For the time being, I'm perfectly fine with it. It's so hard to get rid of them. Wait, who are you? Where are you coming from? Great. Combat Swarm 07 is just sitting there and blowing them up repeatedly. Nothing has changed and nothing will change. Strange. Why would I return control to something that is rightfully mine? So you're gonna go up north, and you're gonna start by taking Snottlish. And now we'll just fix up this place. How far are we? Yeah, we probably expanded the line by about a fraction, but we've almost wiped out two species, so... What can I really say, except you're welcome? This game will just become infinitely less confusing as time moves on. Maybe the game will even, uh, with the reduction in deals and the fact that all the pops are just under one empire, maybe it'll actually speed up. That's a dream that's a long since past. Is complete. So these guys are now effectively boxed in here. They can't leave, they can't move. If they attempt to, they'll just get run over. Their choices are to try to run a blockade or try to get to a gateway and activate it and attack me elsewhere. However, it doesn't seem like any of that is really working in their favor. There are no armies here. These nests won't take too long to take, so we'll just start ordering these guys to start moving down. Like, they have some garrisons, but the garrisons aren't enough for me to care. Enemy nests taken. 
I really should take a look and see of all the places and things that I've accomplished. How, not all, the, Excuse me. When I'm better able to articulate my words, I'll speak again. But as of right now, my words have not been articulating that help. The orbital space around Silent Colony is cluttered with debris left behind by the alien civilization that once inhabited the planet. Before they wiped themselves out, their early space programs saw the launch of thousands of primitive satellites and missile launch platforms. Many of these were destroyed by anti-satellite weapons during the planet's destructive nuclear war, adding even more space junk to the mix. Our colony on the surface developed to the point where this dense field of debris is interfering with its infrastructure. We cannot use satellites and civilian orbital flights are limited to narrow launch windows. Our situation log is updated. We can help that in just a moment. Here's size 13 world. We, we're we gonna just resettle all of these. Again, the thing that mystifies me the most out of all of this is no matter what I do, there just seems to be a hilarious number of different species all mixed in together. And I don't know if like the AI favors this or if this is just like the common AI strategy. Are you actually going to fight me with your 2k fleet? Okay. That's just funny. In a really sad sort of way. Uh, I'm sorry, it was 2k. The moment you stepped in here, it became less than a single k. And now is getting annihilated. I wish the AI was weighted so it would actually surrender. It fights a hopeless war, trying to get the single bit of research it would need to be able to stand against me by killing one of my ships. And that wouldn't even be enough to start beginning to hold a candle. Which is why I'm really only waiting for the crisis event, but hey, if I just conquer the entire galaxy before the crisis event, Enemy taken. then that really doesn't matter now, does it? Alright, so this nest up here... Is also some size 13 garbage. Alright, we'll... We'll work on that in a moment. So... I resettled the other one without checking to see what's down here. Teeming. A little bit of civilization living there. Oh, they have the underground thing. Do I really care? I could just uncolonize this place. Yeah, I'll still uncolonize it, because why do I care about the subterranean people? Where's the sanctuary worlds that we just keep chucking people onto? Conquering that planet, then we conquer this one, which wipes out that species. Should wipe out the species. Complete. I don't see them having an empire capital anywhere. Sorry, this is their empire capital. Why do they suddenly have a thousand armies again? They just had zero. Our construction is complete. My confusion's only intensifying as I keep watching this. Again, these guys should not have all come back. Because I just cleared them. But okay. We'll probably lose like 20% due to losing so much on the ground, even though I wiped out an entire civilization from their army side of things. It's not at all irritating. Which one? Of course, it's a level 6. It was like... 
Level 9, level 10, I wouldn't care. Level 6, no, just... Here. Get rid of you, get rid of the er get rid of this guy, because he's not erudite. Rushing swarm is where again? Go down to the rushing swarm and finally replace their leader. All I can hope for is that they stop being limited. Our construction is complete. Go up to level 10. It's not that hard. Excellent. Our construction is complete. There's the next part of the strategic, the next strategic coordination center. Wait. Sub light speed. So, what's the other one do? The gateway. I don't want the gateway. I want this strategic coordination center. So if I just keep building strategic coordination centers, does that mean I eventually can get infinite sublight speed? Because each one gives 15%, and to my knowledge, they aren't limited construction-wise. Rakarus, move on. Enemy nests taken. Go to Quiet Dark and take that. Ravaging. There's a planet here. There's multiple planets here. Fix this. So. Oh, the district cost for the surviving infrastructure. Which one has the most pops? You have the most near the sector capital, and you've got slave defenders. You've got regular defenders, and you've got nothing. So we actually don't have a reason to stay here. Instead, you can go to... Arich? And then you can move on to Dion. I'm sorry. I should have sent you on your way a long time ago. Let's speed this process up. I don't over here. Land our armies. They don't have a good enough garrison for me to care about. Nibble by nibble, bite by bite, we slowly get rid of everything that stands in our way. So you're going to claim this. The supreme will of the hive mind has reestablished itself. Sweet. Why are you trying to fight here? Please. We have surrendered the system. Just surrender. Do I have to take all these planets? Do I really have to? Okay, none of them are bad, per se. They all have very low amounts of forces. So yeah, after we're done fighting this planet and wiping out this species once and for all, our construction we'll is march complete. on from there. And you're going to explore the wormhole, and we will see where that takes us. But yeah, no, if I can build multiple strategic coordination centers, I could have so much sublight speed our construction across is across all my ships that the only thing that would limit us is our ability to jump. And I actually think that's hysterical. We're gonna hit 8,000 pops. This is getting worse and worse. You're going to war again. What are you doing? Our construction is complete. You're just throwing your lives away. Oh, they're probably trying to get to the front lines. Which they can't do, so they just keep dying. Neat, I guess. That is a very long wormhole. Yeah, that actually is a pretty useful wormhole, all things considered, if we're going to continue our conquest immediately after this. I am not interested in the wormhole. I'm actually interested in the science ship you so rudely keep preventing me from looking at. 
Now, is there anything in Stimsis I don't know about? Don't believe so. Enemy nest taker. I think I'm okay with Stimsis for right now. I think it's just for some arbitrary reason it just wasn't available. So, yep, they are now officially dead. Sweet. Now you can get down here, conquer all these planets. Our construction is complete. And after the conquest of all these planets, we can... I don't know where I want to send you, per se. I could jump you over here, wait a certain period of time, jump you over here, conquer these two planets, which should end another civilization. Or we can go through the Shipping Alliance, go all the way around, swing around here, and conquer here as well. There's no real set way to do things. So you're sitting here over quiet Dark Rackerus. Uh, let's actually just... Get Colliter? You're gonna get the Black Hole Observatory. I might keep you with your guns? No, I'm not gonna keep you with your guns. You can just be an anchorage base. Container. Our construction is complete. The containment plan is working out perfectly fine. There's nothing they're able to do. They can't push through unless they would declare war on the smaller guy and drag him in. They're all effectively cut off. And we should, should, be able to claim all three of these leviathans before too long. However, as it currently stands, there's a lot of combat, a lot of slow, sluggish combat to go through as we are spending our time conquering these systems. So, while I would love to continue, I'm going to call it because I'm still feeling a little bit exhausted. I'm where we will continue and hopefully either find the crisis or officially take over half the galaxy. Well, I don't know, would you call this half the galaxy? I think we could officially say we've taken, like, half the plate over. In which case, taking this would probably be about two-thirds, because that's basically what's going to have to happen. And then that just leaves this cluster, which we can deal with. It's just I really don't want to. Although I'm going to have to, because this goal... Oh! You! You're catching up. You have a defensive pact with the Free League. And you have all this. But yeah, no, you're actually officially catching up. I can't allow that. Didn't even realize. So yeah. We got two-thirds. And then we got this battle to go through here for the... Tebrid homology to claim all their megastructures, to claim all their buildings, and to keep moving on, moving up in the world, and wiping them all out. So, I hope you all enjoy the Schmorgish Org? That's not at all how it's spelled, but it's just what I'm naming it. Hope you all enjoy the stream. I'm going to bid you all farewell and good night, you wonderful, wonderful people. If you want to catch more of this, you can go to the YouTube in the description below, where I post now infrequently, but I'm endeavoring to try to fix that, which is what I always say, but hopefully there'll be some actual action this week. Otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter, which is also in the description below. Or you can pop into my Discord, where I will at least always respond to questions, or at least always say hello. Farewell, and good night, ladies and gentlemen.